Hi guys, my name is Donny and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Building a D-Type from scratch. And guys, in today's episode I plan on fabricating a set of headlights and also inst installing the windshield, getting one step closer to finishing up this job. Let's get going. For today's job of fabricating a set of headlights and also installing the windshield, I'm going to be using two completely different fabrication methods and because I'm using two different methods I'm going to be using two completely different types of material for the windshield and for the headlights and guys even though they look very much the same they both have their own characteristics and advantages and disadvantages this guys is a piece of polycarbonate and the advantages of polycarbonate is that it is extremely strong and also very much shatterproof so I can use this for the windshield. The disadvantage of polycarbonate is that you cannot heat it up or mold it into position because it's going to form micro bubbles on the inside so it is not so advantageous to use polycarbonate for the headlights in the front. On the other hand I've got a piece of acrylic or perspex that I can use for the headlights in the front and the advantages of acrylic or perspex is that you can heat it up and mold it into position without it forming micro bubbles on the inside whereas the disadvantages of acrylic is that it is not as shatterproof as a piece of polycarbonate so I don't want to be using this acrylic as a windshield for the Jaguar because if something was to hit it it might or could shatter so that is why I'm going to be using the polycarbonate for the windshield and I'm going to be using the acrylic for the headlights so guys I hope that that makes sense now as far as shaping or forming this physical headlight in the front I need to make a mold of sorts onto which I can put that acrylic in the oven and then shape it into that bulbous shape over there and what better material to use than a piece of aluminium so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself two pieces of aluminium and I'm going to start shaping it on the English wheel until I find the shape that I'm happy with and then we can start forming that acrylic in the oven Okay, awesome guys, there we go. I've now made two of these headlight molds out of aluminium and they fit perfectly. As you can see, I made them a bit larger than what the holes are. And I made sure that the angles and everything are perfect and that the left and right hand side also match evenly. Now the next step is I'm going to take these molds off and I'm going to take my acrylic glass to the oven so we can start with the next step of making these headlights. Hey guys welcome to my oven and today we are baking a set of headlights and this is how we're going to do it I've now got my left hand side and my right hand side shapes that are forms that I just made on the Jaguar a minute ago and guys I've also gone ahead behind the scenes and I made two more forms a negative of both the left hand side and the right hand side and that's just going to help to shape the acrylic perfectly into the form that I'm looking for so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to preheat the oven and I'm going to pop one of these acrylic sheets in the oven after I've removed this protective layer. And I've also gone ahead and cut off the edges just so that there would be less material overhanging to try and manipulate when I start forming it. And after I take it out of the oven that I've preheated to 160 degrees Celsius, I will then put it on top of these forms, but only after I've put a cotton rag on top of these forms because that helps prevent any of the imperfections of this shape transferring into this acrylic sheet and guys it should then start taking the form of this mold that I've made but it'll probably not take the form perfectly so I'm going to then have to put it back in the oven and heat it up again until it starts becoming more malleable and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the negative 
form on top of it and then form it into its position and hopefully if I take everything apart after it's cooled down I'll have myself a perfect headlight. So let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so this is where we're at at the moment. I've now had this piece of acrylic in the oven about three or four times and it's really starting to take shape. What I also went ahead and done is I just marked off the edges and just trimmed it off a little bit more so that there wouldn't be so much access to worry about. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this acrylic over to this part of the mold and put it back in the oven so it would be in a cradled position and then just take it out and see if I can just finish off these edges perfectly and then we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, the headlight lenses are installed and they are looking very very pretty indeed. I still need to put a black rubber seal around the edges just to finish it off and make it nice and watertight. Guys, I want to tell you that this was very much a learning curve for me. So there's a lot of things that I've learned and also this is not a how to but rather how I. So if any one of you guys have got any better suggestions of making this headlights, please tell us in the comments because this was a learning curve for me. As you saw, I just marked off the edges and I sanded it down until it fit perfectly and that's what the headlight looks like. And guys, the things that I've learned that I can pass on to you guys is that it's very important to make a positive and a negative mold for whatever you're going to mold, like the headlight, so that you can sandwich it in between those molds. It just makes life so much easier to get the perfect form. The other thing that I've learned is that it's very important to use a cotton rag, otherwise the imperfections of the mold is definitely going to imprint into your glass. Another thing I found out was that making this very bulbous shape was nearly impossible on one go. So I had it in the oven, took it out, nudged it into position and then put it back in the oven and took it out again until I found this perfect shape. But guys, like I said, once again, this is just how I did it. I'm sure that there might be better ways. 
So guys, that's the headlights, but I'm not done because I want to see if I can install the windshield before the end of this video. So let's get going. Alrighty guys, I've now gone ahead and made a windshield out of hardboard by studying lots of pictures and making sure that it looks exactly like on the pictures and this is what I've come up with. And all that remains now is for me to take this template off and mark it out on my piece of polycarbonate sheet, cut it out and start installing it. Alrighty guys, check it out, one time windshield has been installed and I gotta tell you guys that I had a lot of challenges installing this windshield one of which is that I struggled so bad to get the proportions correct it just wasn't feeling right and I eventually ended up cutting about 2 inches off of this windshield so that it would look much better also as you saw I used a heat gun just to conform this corner and make it conform to this edge and the other thing that I also did was guys in the original my original design I decided that I was going to be putting the grab screws through this aluminium piece over here and I decided after looking at many pictures that every single Jaguar had the grab screws and the windshield on the outside of the aluminium so I opted on putting an aluminium strip on the inside and then putting these grab screws through the aluminium strip on the inside I will still be color matching that aluminium strip and I'm also going to be putting a black rubber gasket all along this windshield to make it watertight and make it look pretty and guys another thing that I'm still going to do is I'm just going to be putting a brace from this windshield to the bonnet or to the body and also a brace over here that goes to the door as on the original car but guys that's only going to happen when I do final fitment but once again a lot of progress made this week two more things that I can tick off of the list and I hope that you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching I hope you'll join me next week cheers Thank you.